Hello, everybody. I wanted to talk about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD and anxiety. This is something I'm seeing a lot of in my practice, especially over the last year. And it's something I wanted to comment on because I don't know how common it is for patients or people to associate their non-alcoholic fatty liver or to even know or to start seeking a diagnosis of NAFLD and how that may be contributing to their anxiety and the importance of detecting NAFLD and treating it because with lifestyle interventions and certain supplements, in my experience, it's very treatable. And it's really a true testament to getting to the root cause of our mental health conditions. You know, we think that mental health conditions like anxiety are the results of a brain imbalance. And what we fail to recognize, I think, as a, as a medical community is that our brain and body are not disconnected and therefore mental symptoms and cognitive symptoms can sometimes be the result of an imbalance in the body. Our liver's job is like what um, herbalist Matthew Wood calls the, the job of the chemical exorcist in, in that it removes chemicals from the bloodstream. It's sort of like your Brita filter of the body, but it's also responsible for, um, you know, for helping us metabolize and process the nutrients from our food. It helps create consistent blood glucose levels through a process called gluconeogenesis or liver is responsible for processing hormones and so essentially it has this central role in our digestive system in our metabolism and in our detoxification um, processes in the body and NAFLD d is this accumulation of fat around the liver and it's often present with a metabolic dysfunction like insulin resistance sometimes leading to type 2 diabetes or existing in type 2 diabetes central abdominal obesity and high triglycerides some of the things that your doctor can look for, some of the things that might show up in blood tests are high triglycerides, which is, is kind of cholesterol. It's a um, essentially fat in the blood. Elevated ferritin, which is an iron storage protein, maybe falsely elevated, looking like you have high iron, when in fact it's just a marker of inflammation. Sometimes elevated liver enzymes, but not always. Um, and often high inflammatory markers like ESR or CRP. You may also see elevated fasting insulin or elevated fasting blood glucose or HbA1c. What I most commonly find is when I take someone's fasting insulin, fasting blood glucose, and put it through a calculator to calculate something called the HOMA IR, I often see some signs of insulin resistance, which is a precondition for type 2 diabetes that can start to manifest as early as 20, 25 years before someone's officially diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And what people typically will notice symptomatically is, yeah, they'll, they'll have a lot of trouble losing weight on the abdomen. They might experience things like IBS, digestive issues. They might be dealing with migraine headaches, low tolerance for alcohol, whereas before they could tolerate it. They may have disrupted sleep, which is often the result of impaired gluconeogenesis, creating blood sugar drops in the middle of the night. So your body has trouble fasting, low fasting tolerance. As you know, most of us are not eating for eight hours while we're asleep, and therefore it's our liver's job to make sure that our blood glucose levels are consistent. If our liver's not working optimally, we may have trouble with that. We might wake up between the hours of like 2 to 4 a.m. and have trouble getting back to sleep, and you might not feel hungry during this time. Early morning nausea is a pretty common symptom, and cognitive impairment, depression, and more specifically anxiety are really common things that I see. And the more I do a deep dive with patients' anxiety, I'm even finding that in young patients who are who seem or appear metabolically fit are dealing with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Sometimes it shows up just with high ferritin levels and we do a bit of more of a deep dive and we find NAFLD. And that once we start to create, you know, prescribe the right supplements that help the liver metabolize the fat around it, help the, the, the body regulate its insulin balance and respond better to insulin and thereby improve metabolic health with this trifecta of the right supplements, the right lifestyle, you know, diet advice, and the right exercise routine, we can really see a, a really encouraging reversal in all these symptoms. So 
you know, NAPLD affects about 25% of adults in the U.S. It's so common. And a patient who was, um, you know, who was, who was, is, it was suspected in was told by their medical doctor, well, everybody has fatty liver, so no worries. And great. I mean, 25% of people have fatty liver and about 25% of people have anxiety. So there's definitely a Venn diagram that there's this interception between those two. And so if you are someone who's suffering from metabolic conditions, like difficulty losing weight, abdominal obesity, difficulty with sleep, migraines, you know, sort of chronic fatigue, um, cognitive impairments so difficulty with memory, this low alcohol tolerance we talked about, issues with digestion, and and then anxiety. So either the physical manifestations or a lot of the mental anxiety, and you're not sure where that's coming from, it's worth it to do a workup perhaps with a naturopathic doctor who can order blood tests and do a bit more of a deep dive and assessment into your signs and symptoms and put you on the path to the right treatment that can start to resolve this condition within a few months. Just getting on the right supplements has helped some of my patients completely resolve their anxiety and have such a higher stress tolerance for the things going on in their life. It's actually incredible. And so I wanted to share this because I did a little bit of a dive into the literature and found that there's definitely a connection between anxiety and fatty liver and also cognitive impairment. And, you know, part of this is because the body's having a hard time regulating blood sugar and there's chronic inflammation happening in the body as a result of the fa of this metabolic imbalance that, that manifests as fatty liver. So I wanted to share this because it's something I'm seeing over and over and over again. Patients are coming in with anxiety and we're uncovering fatty liver and metabolic disruption. And that's the route that we take for treatment. It's just like a perfect example of how doing a deep dive and getting to the root cause and then having a very strategic and streamlined treatment plan could be so helpful to getting back on the right track and feeling good.